Okay, everybody, so um, to I know it's a little late and I meant to get the video out earlier, but it's been a crazy day. I was just fairly notified on Thursday that we were having open house today at Joanne, so it, it was a busy, busy day. And um, <clears throat> on Thursday, I tried doing a video, but I ended up not being happy with any of them. And then I was tired and ready for bed, so I gave up and went to bed. <laughs> um, so we're going to do a challenge, and we're going to call this challenge Hashtag hashtag junkie goodness um so it's hashtag junkie junkie will be spelt with an ie instead of a y um because you know in honor of little miss daisy spelt with an ie and um i personally am going to do it with a paper bag i have so many projects going on that and i've been wanting to do a brown paper bag forever now so i figured that this is small enough that i could sneak it in before christmas and i could fill it with junky goodness and get it all prettied up with um my little challenge that i got going on so if you don't have a brown paper bag that's fine just use a blank journal or um something along those lines or use like a, a piece of cardboard for your cover something a lot like that so um if any of you don't know this is kind of in an honor of hitting 500 there will be a giveaway and there's going to be a separate entry for the brown paper bag journal so when we have 500 subscribers there's going to be a giveaway and this um lovely and priority mailer is going to be filled with goodies it's already filled with quite a few goodies that i've been collecting so when we hit 500, please subscribe so you can be entered to win. And when that happens, there will be a video. As soon as we hit 500 subscribers, there will be a video I uplink that you will have to comment under. So keep an eye out for that. Um, Definitely uh, on the brown paper bag junkie goodness. Now this is where I'm also kind of featuring a giveaway. There'll be a secondary um, mailer just the same size as this one and I'm gonna stuff it with some scraps a bunch of scrappy goodness uh, junky goodness and all that loveliness so this is my challenge get yourself a bin and I want you to fill it with all of your scraps all of your junk just it like it all of the little pieces that you some people would just throw away I have this little container that I keep all of my scraps of lace in and I got some really pretties in here like this one that's what's left from my boho puppy journal feathers that I sent out to Stina Swanson she has her own YouTube channel um, it's Stina Swanson aka Giddy Girl she reviewed my journal and she was absolutely in love with it so some of the pieces from that journal are in here and multiple other journals so I'm gonna take all of this wonderful goodness and these are kind of like my memories of making those journals, if if you actually want to get quite frank. Um, so I'm going to take these wonderful scraps, and I'm going to take all of these scraps. These are all of the paper scraps that I have left from multiple different journals I've been working on. And when I mean scraps, I mean scraps. And here's one fabric scrap. I want you guys to throw a bunch of fabric scraps in here too. I have some they're in a pile over on the uh, twin size bed I'm gonna throw them into this box too and then this box is going to be what you use to fill up this brown paper bag I want you to have a ball with it you can't use anything else um, you might if you want to um, after you're done with the junky goodness and you want to you know get an ink pad and throw in some stamps and stuff that's fine one here or one there but the primary goal is to use your scraps. The more junkier with your scraps, the better. Um, if it could look like a snippet roll when you're done, that would be perfect. So, and if you guys want to use your junky pieces to make a snippet roll on top of this little piece, and then you can use that snippet roll to decorate it, that would be perfect. So, that is your challenge, to take a bin and fill it up with all of your scraps. Also, on top of your scraps, I want you guys to put some things in here that you're never going to use. Like, you know, those old um, buttons that are very bric-a-brac um, or very... Uh, there's a certain word I'm looking for. 
but it's like the ugly ugly vintage like 1960s like scream at you stuff like the buttons like that and little goodies and uh, I like using some patches on my journal for the cover so if you want to do that all of that goodness if you've I've got crayons here I'm gonna try and find a way to incorporate crayons in my journal I actually have a really great idea in mind um these these wire things that I get from my easter egg kits um, that would be a fun, interesting thing to use on them. And just, and I'm going to do a video, hopefully. So I'm going to try and do a video and release the video on the 26th of December. That's when it'll go up. That's when everything is due. That's when I will release my journal. Now, next week on Friday, I meant to get this video up on Friday. I'm sorry, I did not. Next week on Friday, I want you all to comment under this video by then and you will be entered to win this junky goodness mailer one person will win it and then i want that person to make a beautiful little journal like this out of all of their goodness and i want to see beautiful pictures um after you're done making your video please message me that you've uploaded it um that way I can go check it out. I'd like to put it on, in a playlist on my channel, um, if that's all right with you. If you don't have a YouTube channel, that's perfectly all right. Go on to Instagram and message me on there and take some pictures and tag me at Little Miss Daisy and put hashtag junkie goodness, junkie with an IE. Um, so that that's what I wanna do for this specific one. So I think that's going to be so much fun. Remember, only scraps and the craziest of things that you can think to put in this journal on top of scraps. Like these. This is an old wind chime. I think that would be... I'm not going to use this one. So please, please don't, you know, yell at me for not using it. Because I actually have to fix this. It's going to be a Christmas present. But don't you think that would be really fun to incorporate into a journal? And I got so many other goodies here. But, um... I'm done with that. So I'm almost finished. Last but not least, I want to tell you, there's this kit here that I'm going to come out with and he just closed the door. So now it cut out some of my light, but, uh, this is a journal I'm going to be working on. There's going to be a couple of them and I'm going to do a journal kit where you buy the whole kit and you can create an entire journal out of it. These will be just like my miniature journals that I sell for upwards of 65 and $70. So keep an eye out for those. And um, this is the size it will be and this is the exact journal I was talking about. So this is the firefighter one that I just finished for my uncle and aunt for Christmas. And look at all of those lovely pages. I kept this one very sweet and very simple. And I put some firefighter fabric on the inside. There we are. So this one's for my uncle, my aunt, and this is the type of journal that will come in the kits. And they're going to be like Zodiac, sort of outer space themed. They'll come with lace, they'll come with these, they'll come with dyed paper, and a blank hardcover, and some fabric, and a few other little tidbits that will also go in the kit, and you'll be able to buy it for half the price of a journal. I'm thinking about 30, 35, and 40, depending on what is in it, because when I start adding charms and jewelry, obviously it's going to get a little bit more expensive. So I got one final journal to show you guys before I leave, and that's this one. Um, I commissioned a gift for my birth mom and uh, I am sorry mom I, that I haven't had a chance to get it out to you but um, I have to fix the snaps on it they're driving me crazy and they keep causing problems so I have to tear that apart and fix it and there's an at little miss daisy thing that one of the ladies at Joann's is making for me so um, I'm going to hand stitch that on the back of Sam's Christmas present and then I'll get it out. I'm hoping to get it out on Monday, if not Tuesday, because those are the two days that she estimated on getting me that piece. So this is the other journal that I commissioned um, uh, in honor to that piece that she ordered. There's a little bit of glue there. I think I might have to take a pair of pliers or something and peel it off. And this one is also very simple, just blank, blank pages. If you guys want journals like this, message me. 
leave a comment in the box below about it and I will uh um or you know just message me on Facebook or any of that so that way you won't have to deal with the uh the giveaway um if you don't want to be a part of the giveaway for the scrap be goodness then just message me on Facebook uh, message me on Instagram and let me know that you want some blank journals like this I can sell them for uh, probably about 50 to 45 even um, we'll have to talk on that one so just let me know all right that is it um, I hope you all have a wonderful evening now that I've uh, really teed off my 101 and my other half yeah, he's mad that I'm doing this right now, but that's okay because I'm finished and we're going to go watch it. We're going to veg out on Doctor Who and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.